Blood, Sweat and Gears is more than cars and more than drivers. It's about the best car driver package in this country. We've brought together the power and the passion, some of Australia's best cars and the guys that believe they can drive them better than anyone else. And this year we've thrown another challenge at the Aussie competitors. We've brought the best car and driver over from New Zealand to add into the mix. We put them through a variety of challenges to decide who will take out this year's Blood, Sweat and Gears title. My name's George, I've got a 2005 FPV F6. I'm bringing a Typhoon to town. Anything that makes my car turn the tires and unreal speed on there. I've spent close to 100 and now I've lost count. I'm going for the laser. I'm Brendan, this is my yellow Monaro. I'm the quiet one, but the Monaro will be doing all the talking for me. Most of my background is on a motorbike. I've left the bikes for now and trying to have as much fun in the car as I can with the bike. I reckon the Corvette will be my biggest competitor. Nothing's going to stop me today. My name's Sash. I own this 71 XY GT, and I've come to town to show the boys what time it is. I've uh, stayed with this baby here. That was my first car. I've had it for 20 years. I've probably poured about $200,000 into it. Get out of here. You're making me look like a puppet now, man. <laughs> I'm Sean Fadell. And this is my 85 HTT Brock Commodore. And I'm bringing the horsepower to this party. I wanted to do a figure eight, but it didn't want it. Competitive person by nature. And being here with other like-minded people, it's been great. You don't need drugs when you can wheel spin in six gear, 7,500 RPM. I'm Murray Foreman. I'm here with my 66 modified Corvette. And I'm here to show these younger guys a thing or two. This is the first time that I've ever competed against other cars or seven other competitors. and. The competitors here are very, very good. Fully sick, man. Fully sick. <laughs> my name's Shane Suda. This is my Nissan 180SX. Other people golf, other people fish. We just happen to build fast cars. Bringing up the car, probably my forte. I feel great. Adrenaline's pumping. It's really cool. I'm Daryl Jinku. Possum born was a Kiwi legend. This is my Subaru WRC98 World Rally Car Replica. I'm going in as the underdog. It's the first time a Kiwi's been in the show. So that's it, mate. No more goes at this one. It's excellent, because I hate this at <laughs> Hi, I'm Shane Kennett. This is the amazing laser, because I wanted to sort of get on there to show that a front-wheel drive four-cylinder can actually mix it up with the big boys. No six-packs or anything, it's a keg. The cars have to be road-registered and, more importantly, road-driven. Each was hand-selected from hundreds of entries to cover all genres of the modified car world. We have the Aussie muscles covered with our classic GT Falcon and Brock Commodore, as well as some new muscle with a supercharged V8 Monaro and blown F6 Typhoon. The Nissan 180SX and Subaru Impreza WRX cover our import market, and then the 66 Chevy Corvette representing the best of American horsepower. And finally, the hot hatch with our heavily modified Ford Laser SR2. The results are guaranteed to generate mixed opinions in the modified car world. And then there's our judges. Samantha Stevens, one of Australia's leading motoring journalists and self-confessed rev heads. And the Luff man, Ian Luff, Australia's leading advanced driver instructor, race car driver and motivational speaker. Our second expert judge with the Blood, Sweat and Gears team. Challenges are scored from 100 points for first place down to 20 for eighth position. Competitors who fail to complete a challenge receive zero points. It's not actually the winner of the most challenges that will take out the competition, it's about consistency. Finishing with some points is more important than blowing up and getting nothing. Well, we're at Shepparton Airport for the quarter mile sprint. It's going to be an interesting day. Let's see what the experts have to say with Sam and Luffy. So this is the quarter mile drags, a test of rolling horsepower, if you will. And to explain to us how to go and stop in a straight line is Ian Luff. Come on, mate, how do we do it? Well, this is really great because we're here at Shepparton Airport and we've got this lovely SRT8 Chrysler that's got mega grunt. Maybe not like the competitor cars, but, um, yeah, drag racing, pretty straightforward. Just drive it like you stole it, and uh, we know it's got good brakes, which is pretty important. All right, so you're going to show us now? Yeah, I think we'll give it a go. We're going to set the benchmark, and how embarrassing if this car kicks some serious butt. I got 50 bucks on the Luff Man. Let's go. Let's do it. For the first time, Blood, Sweat and Gears introduces it to test car, the mighty Chrysler 300C SRT8. Luffy will use this car to set the benchmark for each challenge. This 6.1 litre Hemi V8, delivering 317 kilowatts and 569 newton metres, will certainly keep these guys on their go pedals. So 13.58 sets the benchmark. 
Now, before we let our guys loose on the airstrip, we wanted to G them up and show them how it's really done. So we bought in a specialist drag car. Elvis Barbieri and his 1970 Ford Capri GT have clocked a staggering 9.42 seconds at 147 miles per hour. Pink, what's going on? Well, it's an original colour. It actually come out in this model car. Is a it pink of, or what's it? Oh, it's original? actually a wild plum. Right. And um, people always say, oh, it's pink, but it actually is an original colour, GD colour. Yep. So I thought I'll keep it original. Yeah, it's a 400 Chev. Makes around 720 horsepower. Well, mate, it's up to you. Let's see how we go, eh? So after a blistering run of 10.09 from Elvis and his pro drag car, now it's over to the competitors. They've got two runs with their fastest run recorded. Shane, how yeah. you feeling, mate? Good, mate. Yeah, really looking forward to this. Great fun. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Three, two, one. And he goes steady off the line and through the gears quite sweetly. You can tell this is this guy's baby. He's built this car from the ground up as a performance car, so it's purpose built for this kind of thing. We'll see if it registers on the clock. Team Jinku in the possum born replica WRX, mate. How you feeling? Yeah, pretty good, Scott. Pretty good. Any nerves? Bit of excitement there. Yeah. Bit of excitement. Oh, well, good luck, mate. Any words of wisdom, Luffy? Yeah, well, you know, Daz, man, these things are hard to get off the line, so just make sure that you don't torch the clutch. That's all I can say to you. Look after the clutch, right. launch well, go hard, set a time. Do it for New Zealand. Start all four wheels clawing at the tarmac as he takes off. Second, third, a bit of hesitation in the third there, and he's shifting a bit short. He's got one more go. A bit of trouble with the gears, Glenn, but his start was good. You looking forward to it? I am. It'll be good. I've never done this before, so uh, as long as I don't look like a klutz, I'll be happy. Good stuff. Luffy. Well, Breno, the big yellow submarine we've named this thing. It's uh, got a bit of a uh, bit of mumbo, got the blower on it. It has. Um, just use your first run to sight the track, because you're going to get another run. Yep. But uh, the car looks great. You've been using, naturally, a little bit of turtle wax on it, which will help it cut through the air. So that's another half a second. Go and enjoy yourself. It's all been waxed on, waxed off. Very good, Grasshopper. Enjoy. That's it. OK. Oh, no! Go, 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 go! Oh no, and he stalled it. He held it on the line for a little too long. He might have been in second gear. It's probably a good idea because of the torque in theory, but it was not work in practice. Listen to the clutch, it's squealing in pain. 600 kilowatts trying to go down in first gear. He's just spinning it up. Yes, he's got one more go, but he's not going to be happy. George Isaac in the FPV Typhoon, mate. How are you feeling? Good, Scotty. How you doing? Good. Any nerves? Hey, if you didn't have nerves, you wouldn't be a racer. <laughs> My gosh, is that a fast car when it gets moving? And he's on good show of driving skill there. He saw the wheels were going to spin up. He just got off it for a second and got a really clean start. Look at the car go! It belongs on this airstrip. It's like a jet fighter taking off. Oh, and dumping its fuel. What's that coming out the back? All that power through the rear wheels has put way too much pressure on Sasha's engine and he's blown a turbo hose. Will he be able to get back here on time for his second run? We'll have to wait and see. Ready? Okay, in three, two, one, go. And there goes Shane off the line in the little laser, going through second, third gear, still spinning up the wheels in third gear, although he tries hard to find the spot a couple of times. This car is handicapped, not only being the smallest car, but very heavy with all that sound gear in the back. Let's see how he goes. Hey, you're travelling, mate? All right. A little yeah. nervous. <laughs> little nervous, yeah. Yeah, a little panicky. I've got the helmet strapped oh. on tight. I've got the kids. Uh, Lofty, any words of wisdom for, for Murray here before yeah. he takes off? Yeah, muzz up. Yeah, mate. Drive it like you stole it. Okay, I'll keep, keep it in a straight line, that's preferable. I'll try and, it. Uh, okay. And just make sure that driving suit's done up. A little bit of safety fast. Enjoy the Corvette, set a good time. Go for it. Good luck, mate. Oh, Murray guns it off the line. This beautiful 66 Corvette is a show car, but it's showing what kind of muscle it's got under the bonnet now. Come on, mate, into second. And finally, into third. Good stuff. 
Now, Murray, yeah. that first run maybe helps to uh, shift gear a little bit early. Yeah. Use the torque of the motor, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, a uh, few butterflies? Oh, very much so. It's shaking like anything. Back at the workshop, Sash is racing against the clock to get back out on the airstrip. Once that's back in there, it shouldn't really happen again. It's just one of those things. So, um, just get it in there, fill it up with water again, and back out there. Back to sort of square one. How are you feeling, mate? Oh. Don't know, it's a bit worrying. I've got a lot of borrowed parts in here. Um, we'll see how we go. Are you going to take it easy on the first go? Or? It is. It's a borrowed axle. Um, it's welded. My other one hasn't showed up, so I'm just going to go easy for this one and bank a time. Oh, what a noise off the line. But it looks like it's all sound and no fury. Oh dear, it looks like that little axle weld is not held up. One wheel spinning, that means the other wheel is just rolling along. Doesn't look good, mate. No, no, definitely not. Uh, smoking one tyre, that means uh, a broken axle. There's no ifs or buts about it. So uh, back to the drawing board and back to the workshop. It's, a hold it's only holding together. <laughs> So after the first run, Sash and his Falcon XYGT are way out in front after posting at 12.36, more than a second quicker than George and his Typhoon. Brendan's gamble of taking off in second gear failed miserably when he stalled it at the starting line. With the Chrysler 300C test car currently sitting in third, there's a lot of pressure on the competitors with some vast improvements required for their second run. Well, that's the first run for the competitors. After the break, we'll take a look at one of our guys to see what makes them so passionate about their ride. We'll also see if Sash manages to make it back for his second run. Sean, Scott hey, McGregor, Blood, Sweat and Gears. How are you? Too bad, mate. What's happening? Oh, not much. I've owned it 12 years. Modified everything in it. There's not a nut and bolt that's not chromed in it. There's not a nut and bolt that hasn't been taken off it. <laughs> 355 Holden cubic inch engine. Carrillo 6 inch rods, CP pistons. The heads are aluminium. I fitted the aluminium roll cage. Valored the roof, valored a padding for it. Not really a stereo <laughs> person, but... No, um, not at all, no. <laughs> but um, I put it in there just to make the boot look pretty. Um, stop the fuel pumps from being lonely. It's basically a uh, twin four inch. Um, two mufflers dumped at the diff. I've sort of built the car as a bit of an all-rounder like to be able to do shows, to be able to do track stuff, to be able to do dyno comps. Um, so it, it is a showcase of what, what's around. And uh, I'm a competitive person, love the competitions. Not really not looking forward to any challenge, really. Looking forward to them all. One of the big contenders going into the quarter mile challenge was Sean Fardell. Over a thousand horsepower under that right foot and the drive shaft has given way. Well, looks like he's out of this one. Clock is running. It's time for the second pass. You ready? All right, mate. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Off the line with a bit more punch this time. Looks like he's gaining confidence in his car, and the car is responding really well. Nice little rear wheel drive, spin up of the wheels, and grip down. Good time. I'm so rat happy with the way I ran for the for that last so game. Yeah, it's just frustrating because I couldn't get it in about four times I've tried. Yeah, but, but, but look at you, you're getting, you're getting, no, you're, no, you're no, talking to yourself in this no, negativity. It was really cool. I was really under control. More oh, yeah? than I thought, yeah. More than I thought. I thought and I was going to be like, was I was stressed over big time about. and I was so in control there. But it mm. just didn't come up at the last 60 metres. Mate, you dress the part, you got the Turtle Wax sponsorship in here. And what's this sponsor here? What's this, uh, what's this mob up here? Who's this? Jinku. 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 Oh, is that yeah. what that's there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, you know who Jinku is, do you? I do. You do, do you? I. And another great start from the WRX. Into second, into third, no slip ups this time, and look at the concentration on his face. That was heaps better. Off the line and he'll already be breathing a sigh of relief only two seconds in because that's a clean start. That's what he needed. Look at the power this thing has. Supercharger generates the power down low, but up high at the top of the gear, the wheels are still spinning. Unbelievable. That was better! Good girl! And he's off the line with a much better start. And you can hear the auto working overtimes. It comes up through the gears under boost. 
much more impressive. More or less nervous than Simon? Uh, probably more nervous, Steph, yeah. because uh, I still feel Mate, like... You look, it, you look more nervous. <laughs> look at the yeah. eyes. He looks like a psycho. Again, a tame start, but he gets the car moving and up onto boost. Into third, into fourth. Moving around a little on the runway there, but doesn't seem to have affected his time. It's a good run for a little later. So no wheel spin from the little front-wheel drive turbo. Nice short shift into second, and I think it worked for it. And off the line, he's still very aggressive with the throttle. Come on, mate, fry those hands off the steering wheel and change that gear. I'm so excited. This car must sound wonderful on the inside. It sounds good on the outside. And it looks a good time. That runs sort of uh, in the average category. Yep. We're getting proof. What do you reckon? So, do you reckon you've beaten him in the SRC? Mate, I think I've got him. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. He'll be, he'll be really pissed. <laughs> you know how close to the wire that was? My goodness. <laughs> Very good. Sasha's right down to the wire. He just got here in time to take off, and take off he did. The car pumps its way through the gears. It wheel spin in third gear. And across the line. Felt good. Felt all right. Looked great. I think it was quicker than the first one, anyway. Yeah, it was yeah, probably be one for That was the move. You didn't back off either, man. You kept going. Oh, there's no need for that. No need for, <laughs> no need for backing off. So with the quarter mile challenge complete, it's time for car council. All the competitors head back to the Blood, Sweat and Gears garage where our judges regroup and announce the first and second place getters. You might think of Shepparton as a small country town in northern Victoria, but when you get up to the tower and have a look around, it's actually pretty big. What do you love about Shepparton? Oh, the nice wide streets. Easy to get around? Yes, especially on this. Good country town, good people. Um, we're into sports here in Shep, so sport's very strong. The people are friendly. You live in Shepparton? No, uh, it's over now. It's near Shepparton. Oh, so not far away? Yeah, 50 minutes. Oh, OK. <laughs> what do you like about Shepparton? Uh, there's a job, fruit picking. <laughs> oh, fruit picking, of course. <laughs> so what are you in Shepparton today for? You just got um, the little one? Yeah, it's our shopping, yeah. Where's the, where's the wife? Um, it's in the shop over here. <laughs> Right. I've always wanted to work in a, in a cafe. I'm a cafe latte in Shepparton. I've been given the knife, the job of making the sandwich, but I've got Leah with no fear behind me making me the best cappuccino. They reckon here in Sheppo, I'll road test, I'll let you know. Well, I hope the boys enjoy their lattes. There's way too many good pubs in this place to stay there. So there's a bit of Shepparton for you. Back at the Blood, Sweat and Gears garage, the competitors are going through the day's challenge with the judges before car council. So you've had the quarter mile. Are you feeling a little bit more insecure about the competition, or are you just...? No, I'm feeling good. Feeling yeah? better. No, feeling no, better. No, 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 you know, broke the back of the first one, and the car's still going, so... Good stuff. Sweet. Your launch was a little careful, but it was controlled yeah. and mediated. It was good. <laughs> so, yeah, I was pretty happy with the day. All around. I come away really happy. And... Oh, it's an it's it's just, it is, isn't it? Come on and hit it. You yeah. watch people doing drags and you're you like, can, oh god, look, it's over in but eight seconds. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can see why they're You get up it. there, you've got the tent, but it's wow. all that waiting and the build up. Yeah. Now, Brendan, what was interesting is that your secret tactic about taking off in second gear. <laughs> it wasn't such a good tactic, was it? <laughs> I thought it was pretty crap, actually. So, like, you know, the thing sat down, it looked like a busted its ass on the start moment. I've been waiting for the yellow submarine sunk jokes. Well, I wouldn't say it sank. I just think it just could have got off the line a bit better because you know that bloke from New Zealand, I forget his name, um, da Dazman, I think, the Dazzler. Like, he's got all-wheel drive technology and you've got to uphold the Aussie on it in a hold and you can't get beaten by some little um, replica look-alike uh, bloody like possible. did a good burnout to make up for it. In all jokes aside, yeah. your turbo front drive, it's bloody hard to get it off the line. Oh, it is, mate. I mean, like, uh, like with the first run, um, I decided to take off the line easy, and all, then, of course, when the boost come on, all I got was wheel spin. So the second time, uh, I thought I, I'll try and get the start a lot better, and yep. I got the launch, but again, um, just as soon as the boost come on, she was just hard to handle. It's time for car council, so let's find out our top two for the challenge. Right, guys, come on in. Stand in front of your cars, thanks. You sure you don't want to stand in front of your own car? Yeah, sure. <laughs> because of the slicks, I the camber was wrong, and uh, it chewed through the 
brake lines and I lost brakes. You might want to think about braids, yeah. braided brake lines, yeah, maybe next time. I actually was going to do braided brake lines, but then it was too late, so we came with nothing. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Old on you? Old. Really? Mm. We had a couple of problems. It actually blew out a Welsh plug and sent all the coolant out onto the road and it got a bit slippery out there. You know how close to the wire that was? We fixed the car, we came back out with a moment, well, few moments to spare and uh, we got out there and it felt pretty good. Would you say that uh, you've taken it or do you think that George might be being a little bit bashful? I think George is going to be the winner. All right, Luffy. The reason why we're here is to win challenges. How about we talk about who has won the quarter mile sprint of blood, sweat and gear, shall we? Well done, mate. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that off you up, mate. How's that feel? Good, excellent. Mate, did you expect to win it? Oh, I knew it'd, it'd go well. I, I, I really didn't think it'd win. I mean, it's a manual car, there's a lot of wheel spin and all the rest, and there's a lot of good, good cars here as well. I think that number one on the bonnet and on the side of the car is for a reason, mate. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Winner of the quarter mile sprint for the blood, sweat and gears. Off to hey. the start. <laughs> so there you have it. Sasha's Ford got the power down where it counted to outgun George's Typhoon. Ford fans, you have to be happy as it's a one-two. Apart from bragging rights, our competitors are battling it out for over $20,000 in prizes, consisting of a garage full of Turtle Wax products and accessories, including the new ice range to make sure their car is always looking its best. A heavy-duty 10-draw, 508-piece metric and AF toolkit thanks to Synchrome. Pioneer's rumble pack complete with in-car stereo, DVD player, four-channel amplifier, front and rear speakers and two enclosed subwoofers. Samsung's ultimate home theatre system with 50-inch HD plasma screen and Blu-ray surround sound. And finally, a 12-month supply of Redline oils to make sure their car is always running smoothly. George has promised me he's going to behave, but I don't believe it. He's got the mouth. But can he handle the wreck? That'd be a good run by George. And with eight other redheads, he'll be slipping up. Oh, but he's lost it. We put him to the test and see who'll crack under pressure. Oh! What's your excuse? Another Fox 8 Australian exclusive. The Crank It New Series, Blood, Sweat and Gears. Next Monday, 9.30, Fox 8. Shit on me, what do you reckon? Happy birthday, mate. <laughs>